There's dogs following us. To the park and all the way around it. Hi guys, it's Cecily. Exactly. We are out walking this morning. We had to take Jessie's luggage to school. She is going on a trip to Washington, D.C. tomorrow uh, with her class. Are you excited? Mm -hmm. We're going to go on a plane. Probably because we're going to go um, on the way there. And then on the way back, and on the way back, we have like a stop in the middle somewhere. And we have a layover. So then we have to get on another plane. Or back on the same plane. I don't know, but we're stopping in the middle and getting back on a plane. So she's excited about that. But since we had to take her luggage out, I convinced her she should come walking with me. And now we're down at the park, and these dogs have followed us. All the way. They started in our house because they were, like, I think one of them's our neighbor's dog, and the other one just appeared. And they were trying to But we were walking down our hill, and then they showed up. So we just walked, and they followed us, and we went all the way around the whole park. And up the extra trail, and we're about done, and they're still following us. Actually, at one point, they were leaving us. Yeah, they walk in front of us, they walk to the side of us. They go chase some squirrels. Oh, hey, puddle. It has been very rainy down here. Uh, it's rained for how many days now? Uh, like, off and on. Like, it didn't steady oh, rain, but for the most part, it's been raining for most of the week. I don't know, I don't pay attention. Yeah. It's been raining. It was raining a lot yesterday because it was really loud and thundering and it was raining forever. Yeah, there were tornado warnings. Um, there were uh, radar indicated tornadoes. So nobody actually saw them. Which I'm more concerned about the ones people see than the radar indicated, if that makes sense. Uh, uh, so we'll have to go check on our property after all today. And then we're going to the RV show later. I'm very excited about that. Are you excited? Yeah, a little bit because we get to see like big RVs, not just the little, um, like the little ones like we have, and it's not cleaned up yet. She's excited for the fancy. Yeah, we get to see a brand new one when they look like when we first move into it instead of having to buy one and fix it up. She's excited for the fancy. I don't blame her. I'm excited to see the fancier ones too because they are a good bit larger now. The one we have is from about 2000, so it's roughly 20 years old. So, you know, things were a good bit different on them back then. But now they have bunk rooms with slide outs, which means this one will have much more room. So, that'll be cool. But now we're just walking around the local park. It's kind of neat, little place to go walking. Um. Jesse's going to do something. Don't fall in the water. Okay. Me and Rachel, we take and we um, do like this. Mm -hmm. And one of the times I went down, like we would hold on and kind of like get off this part. And we would swing ourselves back up. And then I couldn't get back up. Like I did a few times, but then I, I'm going to try it. If I can't get up, I can just climb to the end. All right. Just to be clear, she has a hoodie on. It's not that cold. It's like 65 already. It's going to be like getting close to 80 later today. Yes. God, you almost had it. Your booty slid back off. <laughs> Made it. Made it. Yay, Jesse. It's not even that far, but it's, it is. Something oh, smells funny. I know, it's the water. Oh, well, maybe something's good in the water. It smells like something bad. Alright, so, are you going to miss this while you're gone? Mm, maybe. maybe. How about Lovey? Yes. Will you miss vlogging with Mommy? Okay, no <laughs> are you going to vlog while you're gone? No, because I was thinking about that, but I think it would be really awkward. Because like, nobody else is probably going to be doing it. Like, if you were there, sure, but like nobody else. It's gonna be like, yeah, it's really awkward. Well, you could make like a series of it and make it like vlogs to mom and be like, I told my mom I'd record stuff. Okay. Hey, look, there's lots of walkers out now. All right, cross the street, look both ways. There's like two, three, four other people out walking here. It's a very popular walking spot. But anyway, 
So you could be like, I told my mom I'd vlog, mm -hmm. so that she's not here with me, and blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Let's get out of the middle of the road. Yeah. Lots of people walk in the middle of the road, but I'm just not comfortable with that. It's not lots of traffic right here, and every, like I said, everybody did, does walk in the middle of the road. But when I'm coming through here and there's people walking in the road, I'm like, get out of the road! So, vlog's come. Um, I don't know, I might not. Maybe. And maybe I'm not. gonna take pictures. And I might take like some videos, like, just little, little short videos on my phone. Like on the plane and stuff. Yeah. That would be cool. Yeah, because once you get to the hotel, you'll have Wi-Fi. Yeah. So you can upload them and delete them real quick. But if you put them on YouTube, I can watch them then. Yeah. And I can make you some vlogs. And I can be like, hey, Jesse, this is what you're missing while you're gone. And title them to you. And you, know you can, you can talk on YouTube. Did not know that. Did y'all know you can talk on YouTube? You can go to the um, little... It's not subscription. Talk about it. I don't know what it's called, but at the bottom there's a whole bunch of little tabs. And you find one of them, and it's at the top it says messages, and it slid over to the other side. It's like your subscriptions, I think. And you slide it over, and you tap in that person's email address, and you can talk, text them in there. Well, that's neat. Alright, we are now at the back side of local college. It's pretty neat. Oh, look how pretty. This is Bevel Community College. It's a nice little college. There's more to it than this. This is just the back side of one block that we walk on. Alright, Jesse, anything else you want to mention in our vlog? Oh, we had wife was in the other day. Yeah. It was great. Lovey keeps coming up and saying, press me, and saying she's Anne Frank and she was in the Holocaust. But that's not how she phrases it. Yeah. It's on my speech. Mm -hmm. You guys like, have to. And you have to be really still. So then when they tap you, you like, start saying your speech. So I kind of turned around and I said, hi, my name is Anne Frank. I was born in Frankfurt, Germany in 1929. I was born as you. My family and friends are also Jews. I was born during the Holocaust, so the fact that I'm a Jew is pretty important. As a child, I wrote many poems and stories, but my most important work is actually Kitty. Not that I probably like, what? Kitty didn't make a cat. No, I absolutely did not. That'd be rather weird, don't you think? Kitty is actually my diary. I tell her anything and everything. She's like my best friend. Now don't get me wrong, I do have friends, I am not that lonely. But she's just there for anything and everything I have to say. I can tell her not only the good things, but also the bad things. Like things about the Holocaust. Speaking of the Holocaust, a few days after I got Kitty for my 13th birthday, uh, a Kitty, come on. <laughs> her. But a few days after I got Kitty for my 13th birthday, my family and I went into hiding. We were in hiding for about two years before we were eventually caught by the Nazis in a concentration camp. But a month before concentration camps were banned, and not allowed to be in New Zealand anymore, I died in the Times in February 1945. By the time the Holocaust was all over, my father, Otto Frank, was the only one who had survived. My mother, my sister, and I were all dead. <sighs> now, my father found Kitty and had her published. Now people use her to learn about the Holocaust and people in it. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> so there is your brief history of Anne Frank. Yeah, but... but that's a really neat project, I think. I'll, they do that every year. And each kid picks a different person in history. Um, but it's just the advanced class. Yeah, it's just the advanced class does it. Reagan was really mad. She's like, I wanted to do that. It's really cute. And they have them all stand in different places in the library, and they're in costumes, and they have props, and they have to stand really still until you come up and tap them on the shoulder, right. and then they say their little speech. So it's really neat. I kept moving. I kept like, you to me all of a sudden. It's amazing how much your face or hair will itch when you're told you're not supposed to move. Yeah. But we're going to finish this up real quick so we can kind of speed home and get a little extra cardio in on the way up this hill. You guys have a great day. Wish Jessie luck on her trip. I'm excited. I'm excited for her. Y'all have a great day. Say bye. Bye.